Okay, so um, I just finished coloring my hair. See in the back. Um, if you remember, I just did the middle section here, and then the front went back black. Um, I just did a braid out, put in some braids in the four sections that I had, and now I'm just in the process of taking them out. I normally hate braid outs, um, and I kind of hate this too. I can never get it to be as defined as I would like it. It always comes out <clears throat> a, a bit frizzier than I would like it to be. I mean, I do have like my defined parts, but it's, it's just not like a twist out that I like. Maybe I'm so conditioned into liking what I see on the twist out. It's just a little bit um, just frizzier for me. So what I did was put on olive oil on my hair when it was wet and also my shea butter mix. And I bought this pro this new product um, from the salon that I was working at here in Concord. And it's from Scruples and it's called Twisted Curl Defining Cream. I bought it there at that salon and I used it on a few of my clients. And it always made it, their hair feel real soft and silky. But I haven't seen it um, with like a twist out or braid out or anything like that. I always put it in while I'm twisting the hair and it always felt nice and soft. And one client did tell me that the hair was shiny and um, held up nice for almost like two weeks um, after using it. So I wanted to see how it would look on my hair and what results I would get. Um, so I decided to put that through with um, the braid out that I use. It's more of a, um, it's not like a creamy texture. It's more of a, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to say wax, but like a sculpting cream. I don't know if you can even see the, the, the texture in it, but it's not like creamy, but it's not waxy. It's almost like a cream and a wax mixed together. And that's the, how the texture is. So, um, I put that all through on wet hair and I let it air dry throughout the night. Um, I can feel like there's product on my hair. Not so much like a buildup. Um, just that I can feel that there's product on my hair. It's not a nasty feel. Um, it's, it's, it is a little heavy, but it's not, it's not heavy to where I don't feel like my hair is light enough, if that makes sense. Um, so typically with braid outs, um, you know, with my three sections, I try to just keep those three sections while braiding and avoid borrowing from either side so that it can come out a lot smoother. And then once I get towards the ends, um, I like to twist maybe an inch down. Um, I like to twist so the ends sometimes they come out just a little bit neater than if I had braided all the way down. And then as I take them apart, um, each section that I braided with, I, I kind of separate it just a little bit. So as you can see, this bottom part from here down is twisted. It's a lot more twisted than I normally like to have. I don't know why I twisted so much. But, um, yeah. So, this is my first time doing the color in the center of my hair. I, I want to say I've seen it somewhere before, and that's where I got the idea, but I, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, somehow, I, I got the, I, you know, the bright idea just to color the middle of my hair, so we'll see how it turns out. So, this is just the first time I'm seeing how it looks styled. When I had the braids and I was a little worried, like, oh my goodness, what did I just do? Um, yeah, I, I've been worried all night. I didn't even let my husband see my hair. I had my scarf on the entire time he came home from work because I, I needed to see it styled first before I can, you know, say if I like it or not and try to make it work before I get judged. Um, but so far, I do like it. It's not, it's not bad at all. Like... I was thinking after it was braided up, um, it's, it's different and I, I love different and now I'm starting to really love it. Um, I don't love my braid out. Um, I love the fullness that I have. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy that part. And it's like, it's not a bad style. It's really not. It's just, it's not a twist out that I'm used to. Um, so I'll let you see the back and I may have a part here. I'm gonna have to get rid of and then the other side so I'm famous for my pick I'm gonna use this and you can lift up your roots to get your volume that you like 
and then try to separate um, that middle part there in the back. And I know a lot of people are get confused, or maybe not confused, but um, they feel like they mess up when if they use the pick. And you just wanna, you just really wanna just lift the roots. You don't wanna go all the way through. I never go all the way through because that's when you get frizzy or frizzies. <clears throat> so you just kind of, you know, going with the with the roots, and then you get your volume. So you know what? I do like this color. Um, it's not it's not the red red color that I usually get. I mean, it has red in it, but it's more of a copper tone. And copper, um, as I mentioned in the color video, is an, an orange or uh, orange like an orange color. Um, and then with the booster, I add a red copper booster to it. So it has a little bit of red in it. Um, so if I got tired of this color, I didn't end up liking it. It's so easy just to go back to the red. Um, so yeah. So that's why I wanted to keep it in the red family just in case I didn't like it. Because I, I seem to always go back to the red because I love the red. So if I decided to say, you know what, I'm not really feeling this. And easily just pop in the red and the way I would do that was just put in red booster and that's semi permanent so I don't have to worry about trying to lift it and using a high volume developer or anything like that so just a booster itself no color just booster with the uh, um, semi permanent developer which is like nine nine volume developer rather than like 30 <clears throat> so this is it I think I love it um I love what my hair feels. Um, I used, I was mentioned in the color video, was the Chi Hydration Shampoo and the protein treatment, the um, deep protein conditioner or reconstructor. So my hair feels good after that. I, put it, I left it on for 20 minutes under the dryer. It felt nice and strong. Detangling was a breeze. Um, and I didn't have a lot of um, shrink, not shrinkage. Um, shedding or anything like that so um I, I gotta say I'm, I'm loving the hair so I would like to see if my husband would recognize that I colored it different knowing him he won't so it'll be like a year later and he'll say did you color your hair different yeah a year ago so we'll see so thanks for watching and stay tuned for pictures I talk to you later bye